this video, we'll be exploring the process of creating a pave look using the IMM Curve Brush for gemstones in ZBrush. In a few steps, you'll be able to create this pave look on your own ring model and utilize the gem cutters to prepare your model for production. To create the base mesh, I'll be using the plugin Ringmaster. This is a good place to start as it offers a reference to the scale needed and the precise measurements required in jewelry design. Here I'm setting the shank thickness to 1.8 millimeters and the shank width and segments to 7 millimeters. I'm going to be placing a single 1.5 millimeter stone at the top of the ring for a size reference. We'll create that base mesh now. Let's add that stone in now using the Ringmaster. Now that we have a good base mesh, we can start laying out our gemstones. Load the IMM brush round with prongs and cutters. Make sure curve mode is on and set the step to 0.8. Set the draw size to 75 to make 1.5 millimeter gemstones. Turn transparency on. Click to start drawing out a curve. Holding shift will make a straight line. Set the brush depth to negative 30. This will set the girdle of the stone just above the surface of your model. You can adjust this to sink the stone into your model if needed. Separate the polygroups into their own subtools. Use Split Unmasked Parts button in the sub-tool Split Menu. Let's get rid of the cutters that we won't be using by hiding the polygroups and using Delete Hidden. Delete Hidden is found in the Geometry Modify Topology menu. Let's go back to our ring base mesh to draw out another curve. Transparency turned on will prevent the next line's Z orientation from being altered by other geometry. Drag the IMM curved green circle to set the gemstones at an offset to the first line. Split the unmasked groups here, then we'll repeat the process of deleting the unwanted cutters. Using the gizmo or transpose tool, 
move the gem subtool to the desired distance from the first set. We can go ahead and turn the transparency back off. Next, using the gizmo, we'll duplicate the first subtool by holding control and dragging away. Once it is in a good place, separate the new set by using split unmasked parts. Repeat the process with the second line of gems for a total of four rows of gemstones. Now we'll separate the cutters we'll be using to create the holes for the gems using the Boolean feature. I'll mask every polygroup but the one we need by using the gizmo and control shift clicking it. Once again, we'll separate it by using split unmasked parts. Activate the Boolean difference on the cutter subtool under the base mesh to see the holes created by the cutter. You can draw out any number of gem rows this way to create pave on any surface in ZBrush. Thank you for watching. Please leave any questions in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.